Hey guys, welcome back. We are back and I now have a new and approved room and I am so excited. I am having my typical afternoony, 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 my typical afternoon coffee that just brings it on in on Sundays because Sundays literally are my craziest days of the week. They're definitely not relaxing. I have to see a bunch of my family. I have to do things I said I was going to do with my family. And then I also have to care for the horses. And I have to, have to take care of those responsibilities. And I also have to run my personal errands. And I also have to get myself organized for the week. And like get my schedule laid out. And then I'm just like, wow, it's Monday again. So yeah, my room is now new and improved. These are my like little things I got. I'm sure the chair is in your way, but you get the idea. There are some things I still want to do over here, but for now, it's moving along. It's still an update, you guys. This My life is still an update. <laughs> when this room is fully complete the way Marissa has always envisioned it, that's when you know this mental health journey probably is over. <laughs> Not over. It's something that you always have to go down, but you'll know that my life is back on track if you if you know what I mean. And as I'm sitting here having my afternoony, afternoony, I'm gonna stick with it, my afternoony Sunday coffee, I just want to chit chat with you guys a little bit because that's what I do best, I think. I just know how to sit down in front of this thing and pour my little heart out with something that's on my mind. So that's what it is today. Okay. As I checked my phone right now, I just got two new subscribers. Thank you so freaking much. Seriously, you guys mean, like, I don't want this to sound cheesy, like you guys mean the world to me, but no, honestly, you guys seriously mean more to me than you have any idea. Like someone that actually wants to sit down and hear me talk about something that like I think is important is just so cool, you know, because it's not like I, I want to have a conversation with you guys. Like, I wish there was a sense, there was a way. That's why I always say, like, comment what you think. Comment what, like, like, I love comments and then, like, talking to you guys back and interacting with you guys. Like, seriously, I got the coolest email yesterday from someone. It's a really long email. Like, the fact that someone took the time to do this, seriously, thank you. And it's literally... Probably, I would say this is a good chapter of a first of like a book like that's how much effort was into this And I just have to thank you like if I'm even worth that amount of time for you to sit down and write that much to me like Thank you. You guys have no idea I'm just gonna talk about why I take mental health so seriously at such a young age because you know, there's not a, even a lot of adults that talk about mental health with me, nor has it ever been a topic that anyone brought to my attention. And, you know, I can't help but realize that I had a lot of influence on people when it came to fitness. I had a lot of input and advice to so many souls. And, and, when I would be messaging with people about their weight and their goals or when I'd be training someone, they would, I could just tell there was more there that was like hurting them. And that's just the empath side of me. Like I could just look at a picture of someone and basically know a lot of what's going on in their life. Or I could just talk to someone and just kind of get a feel with what's going on in their life. And I always have sensed that yes, I could help them with their body, but I always felt like I could help them with more and I could truly genuinely be a friend. But it's such a weird topic to get into with people and like basically all they ever really wanted was for me to help them when it came to like their diet and their workouts, which don't get me wrong, is not wrong, but I also wanted people to come to me for just genuine comfort and genuine advice and I don't know. I just, I've, I've always had just a different feeling with what I'm supposed to be doing with it. So once I realized the impact I had with fitness, 
I realized that if I truly just gave it a shot with putting out my putting out myself with mental health and like really talking about how important mental health is to me and how like serious I take it in this lifetime if any of those girls that looked at my body and looked up to me in a sense but also were awakened to mental health like I feel like then my job is done like don't get me wrong when I can help these girls with their bodies which I have done so many transformations on girls and they're always so astonishing the way they feel and how great they feel and I just knew if I was able to give them some of my mental health health then like they would just be a whole new person and like literally transform like all around a new person and I'm only saying that because I have transformed my body and have transformed this place that I call my brain that drove me absolutely nuts and I knew there was something else I wanted to add to my fitness career. I knew there was like a sprinkle of something but I could never figure it out and then as I was like in these terrible times of my life like as I was just in this really dark place I would be on Instagram on my phone in the in my dark room like boohooing and like looking at everyone's pictures and being like none of these people know what I'm going through right now like and then I would look at my profile and just see this beautiful happy in shape girl and just be like this isn't me like if any of these people care about me if any of these people follow me then like how don't they know this side and like how don't I know that side of them and like why are we now trying to put on this internet world of who we are in the world when that's really not who we are that's just like the layer that's like our tinder of life basically like job interviews future boyfriends and girlfriends their ex-girlfriends and ex-boyfriends and their friends and your boyfriend and girlfriend's new friends. It's like everyone's like freaking tender. Tinder. It's like right there for the world to judge you off of. And as I realized like how scary like and ungenuine friendships and people are, I was like, no, like if these people want to know me, like then they need, they, like I need to, like they need to see this too. And maybe that will open up some other people's eyes to stop putting on like the fake smile and like, I don't know. I don't know. But even if people don't need to share their whole pains and traumas and their stuff on the internet, like if, if I could be a person that they confided in, that I can direct them to what route they need to take, what book they need to read, what YouTube videos they should watch, just anything that gives them that spark of hope, like that is what I am striving for so much because if like just like fitness I couldn't when I started doing fitness there was no Instagram there was no like like there was nothing for me to figure out how to work out there was magazines and it would say do a hundred crunches and run for five miles and that's how I thought you would get in shape like I had to literally get in the books become a personal trainer and truly figure out how to transform a damn body and I still don't even think there's great advice out there right now there's a, a few but you really have to hunt for it and then like when it came to mental health I was like where do I go do I see a therapist check mark that off that was not helpful that just made me relive all these things that I went through and just for a person to nod their head and be like "Mm mm-hmm how does that make you feel I understand and I was just like you know you don't help if anything you make the situation worse and then I got a life coach and my life coach now that is a person that I highly suggest a life coach A life coach isn't someone that you really get to vent to about your problems. They get that information in the beginning, but then they give you homework. And if you don't do your damn homework and actually work to getting into a better lifestyle, then they're like, I have nothing to do for you. Like, you have to do this yourself. You have to want this yourself. And that was something that I adored. I was like, yes, a person pushing me to, like, really get out of my comfort zone and get myself out of depression and, like life coaches man knuckles but you know on the internet it's there's a few things 
but it's 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 mainly the glitter of life yet again you know there's so much glitter everywhere rather than the raw dark dirty stuff that actually truly goes on that i feel like we need more help with rather than seeing another chiseled guy or beautiful girl on the beach running together like honestly i'm just i'm tired i'm tired this world is so sick this world is so scary this world is so sad and instead we continue to fake happiness on the number one social platform just to try to prove who's really happier when i really think down below it's like who's really this like every single time i see a super insta famous bubbly personality i'm like they're probably the exact opposite like literally the glowier the smile the faker and faker and faker it is I live in Los Angeles, so I'm around a lot of these people, and it's astonishing that I, of course, would see their Instagrams before I ever met them, and then I'd meet them and interact with them, and then just to see the difference of, like, internet personality to human personality, I was like, what the, you know, like, seriously, and, like, I have some friends that literally would go to a certain beach and like just pose for like 50 photos and then be done with the beach and go home and then spend like all day editing the beach photos and I was like what the heck is like I didn't get the memo like I never got the memo like all my pictures are genuinely like Marissa doing life and I didn't like I just didn't realize like I'm not insta famous. I'm not anywhere near being insta famous. I didn't know like what it took to be insta famous. And then as I was around a lot of insta famous people and insta models, I was like, this is all like, this is all fake. Like it's a set. It's another Hollywood set. Like it looks like a house, but then just take a few steps back. And it's really just a perfect looking room and there's nothing else there. And that's you know, that's what I'm, I'm coming to conclusion with, and I, and it's, it's sad, it's so sad, and as I was going back down the fitness route, and as I was doing that, I was like, how many more fitness models does the world need, like, how many fitness personal trainer people does the world need, like, there's so many out there right now, like that's, it's, it's, there's a market, but there's also plenty of enough people willing to do the job. And then when I went to search for a life coach, I mean, it was scarce. Like it took me a really long time to find a life coach or to even know what a life coach was. I didn't even really know they existed until I was 21. And like, why don't 17, 16, 17, 18, 19 year olds girls and guys know about life coaches and why don't they have one like you have a coach for every little league game you played but you don't have a coach when it comes to like the big stuff like following your dreams chasing after your dream career like i don't know i don't i i don't know i was at loss for i'm just at loss for words so as i was doing my youtube getting back into that fitness stuff was like, really, does there need to be another one? Or should I really talk about the one thing I love talking about to my close and dearest friends? I, I don't talk to the world like this. I talk like my fitness personal trainer self and Marissa, but like to my deepest friends and family and my clients sometimes, I really talked about the things that interested me and that was mental health, spirituality, like on all those deep, deep topics, but I didn't talk about it with the rest of the world. I just, you know, that's a side of me I kept very closed off, but it's a side to me that I've always wanted to share with more people, but for me, it just kind of, I remember my old boss, I had a therapist and a life coach at the time and he was like whoa don't tell anyone that they're gonna think you're crazy and i'm just like why like why is it automatic that if i have a therapist or a life coach i'm crazy like i'm not crazy i just have emotions and traumas 
and things in my subconscious mind that I have to work through. And if I continue to ignore them and just act like they're not there, then I'm going to be stuck in the subconscious mind cycle for the rest of my life. And I just think mental health should be taken so much more seriously, honestly. Like, it's, it's something that I am now so, so passionate about. It's ridiculous. And I guess as I hit record right now, I just really want to share my love for you guys and also my love for mental health and the fact that some of you just truly sit down and listen to what I have to say about it. Like, it, it, it just means so much to me because... This is really, really something I'm passionate about. This is really, really, really something I, I really just want so many young people to have in their tool belt because I didn't have it for the longest time and I didn't know how I was going to get through this thing called life. Like, I was scared. Every morning I woke up, I was just like, why do I have to do this? Every, every morning just felt like a school and work day combined. And I just didn't want to do it anymore. But you can't, like, you can't give up on life. Like, you, you got to keep going. Like, the more you stop, the more you hurt yourself. And, and it's like this, it's, it's this crazy balance because, like, you want to stop because you feel like there's something missing in here. But then when you do stop, you go so far back in life. But then the people that keep going forward, they're going forward, but they're missing, like, all of what's missing and then by the time they get all the way up here they're like oh crap and something you know happens with their subconscious mind and they can subconsciously attack everything they just built and like I saw that cycle happen to me like from 18 to 21 I was like what's going on like I'll get so far and then I'll be like oh this feels too good and then I'll like run back and I was like, what the, like, what are you doing? Like, this is great. Like, my higher self would be like, what the hell, dude? Like, this was great. But then my old, young Marissa, little girl Marissa, subconscious mind Marissa would be like, no, 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 it's too good. It's too good to be true. And I'd run on back. And I was just like, in this constant teeter-totter relationship with just myself. And I was like, this isn't normal. Like, there has to be a breakthrough. Like, there has to be a breakthrough through this. And that's just really what got me questioning like why certain things were happening to me in my life on a cycle. It's almost as if like once a certain season was coming around, I could start giggling knowing what was going to happen because it just always happens. And obviously that's when I started getting into spirituality and mental health and reading all these books and mental health and spirituality really do truly go hand in hand. Like it's it's crazy. Just as much as I want to help people with their bodies and how much I have already helped people with their bodies, I truly, truly want to help more so with people's mental health. Because, you know, would you rather have a beautiful body and lose your brain or would you rather have a brain and just a whatever body? Like, obviously anyone would pick their brain. Like, anyone would pick their brain. So why don't you pick your brain and then some days of the week also pick your body? So it's like, okay, you're working out both ends of it. So that as you're getting in better shape, you're also mentally getting stronger. And before you know it, you're going to be looking in the mirror but you're and seeing a huge transformation. But you're also going to look all around and see your whole life transform. And those are what I think people are truly seeking. Because every single time I was a personal trainer... Every single, every single time I train someone or coach someone, they had a lot of personal issues that they swore their body would fix. They absolutely swore that once they were a certain weight, their, their whole entire life problems would just disappear because it had to just be the weight. It just had to be the weight. And then you would see them approaching their goals. You would see them getting closer. And they would start to need different results and more goals. And I was like... What are like what are you doing? And I realized like they're chasing a dragon. They're chasing this fantasy that their physical body can change the world around them when in actuality like it's it's just a vessel. Like it's literally a vessel. Your body should be not the least of your worries, but just not not so crazy about it. 
or where you're the opposite and don't even care about it at all. Like, there's just two crazy ends to it. There's the people that really don't care about their bodies whatsoever, and I would guarantee they have some mental health issues just due to that because when your mental health is good, you want to eat healthy, you want to work out because your brain understands that that's what you have to do and like your brain is just so healthy, like you don't even question if you want to work out or not. So there's that side where people just don't even work out at all and I would still argue that there's some mental health issues there and then there's the extreme where they're constantly chasing more and more and more and there's definitely mental health issues there and then there's I mean there are some in the middle I would love to meet one but that's like where I'm like holding myself right now and I just really want to help teach younger girls older girls younger men older men my age girls my age men whoever wants to hear me out I want to help put them together and be like, okay, we're going to work on your fitness. We're going to get you these goals, but we're also going to work damn hard on your brain and your mental health because it is so important. And that's just like, I finally, I finally, I finally feel like I found that thing that makes sense. You know, that like little voice that keeps saying, there's more, there's more, there's more, there's more that you need to be doing. Every single time I was training a person, every single time I was just in fitness, I just had that annoying voice. I don't want to say annoying. I just had that voice in the back of my head saying like, come on, I know there's more to you. You've got more in you. And I would just be like, what are you talking about? And I would have, I had so many clients. I like was so busy and I was like, what, like how many, what else could I do? Like, are you joking? I can't do anything else. And then that's when I got sick. That's when everything just like went away. And that's when... My whole body disappeared, everything I worked hard for. I was stuck in bed with myself, and I was like, this is the more. I'm freaking insane, and I have never been taught why. I have never been taught that a healthy mind is so key. And I just, for a month, was just obsessed with figuring out mental health and figuring out my mental health and that's what led me to here I don't even know how many books later I don't know how many documentaries later I don't even know how much research later and I realize I still know nothing but as I learn a subject I would love to share it with the world because if there's at least one voice yelling that mental health is important more than fitness, then I feel like I'm finally fulfilling my life purpose, I guess. I guess that's what this is. And I'm excited because I'm a student again, but I love the feeling of being a student again because we're a student every day. And now I'm in a new subject that I can't wait to learn more and more about. I have fitness I know fitness like the back of my hand. Like I could look at anyone and transform their body, but I want to help transform their life just as much as I want to transform my own life. So <laughs> that's, I think that's a great coffee talk. That turned from a coffee talk to a speech, I guess. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you all very very, very shortly. And have a great freaking Sunday. Spend some time with your family. Do something that you love and just really regroup and get ready for this week ahead and try your best every single day. It feels better, I promise.